Hey, what's up YouTube, Down in the Smartphone Guy, coming back at you with another video. And today we're gonna to take a look at a digital video camera. Yes, these things do still exist, other than the ones that are on your smartphone. So yeah, they are still making them. This is a budget-friendly uh, digital video camera that you can pick up on Amazon for $99. I'll leave a link down in the description if you are interested in picking it up. And as you can see, it comes from a company called Bright World. So this is the digital video camera itself. I'm going to go ahead and open it up so I can show you what all it comes with. And it does come with quite a bit, which is pretty awesome. So it comes with an HDMI cable. So on the one end, we have a micro HDMI. And on the other end, we have a full HDMI. So that's for checking it out with your uh, computer. So you can plug it into your computer, your TV, or whatever you might need. So you have a little carrying case here. So that's kind of nice. We also get a charging adapter. And this is the part that I think is the coolest. So if I can find all three of them, it actually comes with, maybe I thought it was three. I lied. It looks like it's only two batteries. All right, so it only comes with two batteries. I thought it came with three. So I already have one on there. And then we have this one here. So it comes with two batteries. Um, and honestly, the battery life is quite good. Uh, I was shooting quite a bit of footage of my son playing some baseball with him, uh, just kind of hitting around in our yard just to see how it works out. And uh, it works out pretty well. So um, we have some audio video cables there. And then we also have a uh, micro SD. No, that's a mini SD actually. So um, that's what you get in the box. That's going to be for charging it, by the way. So just some features that it offers. So we have a CMOS sensor. Uh, we also have 32 gigs of storage that it supports. There's nothing on board. There is no storage built into the actual uh, video camera here. So it shoots in full HD 1080p. It does also shoot um, in slow motion. So you have 720p for slow motion at 120 frames per second, I believe. We might have to check that out in just a moment. I didn't actually shoot any slow motion, so we'll have to check that out. Uh, we have a three inch touch screen here. We have Wi Fi, so you can use your cell phone as a shutter. Um, you can also take some night shots. As you can see here, there's a couple of infrared sensors in there. Now, I haven't tested that out a whole bunch, so um, that's something I still want to definitely check out. Um, you can see here we have an F at 3.2 uh, in terms of the aperture. We have 16x digital zoom. Now, when you zoom in that far, of course, you are going to get a lot of pixelation, but that is an option. And uh, you can see here that it actually has two slots um, for expansion for your um, memory. So we have here the full SD card slot that's there. Uh, that's our battery course. And then we'll shut that. And over here, by the way, opening that is what turns it on. And uh, over here we have a micro SD card slot as well. So two options there. Um, now up here we have our menu. So we'll go ahead and jump into the menus. This is touch screen, of course, but I'm actually going to use the buttons. It's a little easier to use it this way. So we have movie size. As you can see, there is full HD is what it's currently on. Hit that once and you can see we have the options for 720p at 60 frames per second. So not really slow motion. It's probably not going to be good enough for slow motion. You usually want at least 120 frames per second in order to get decent slow motion. So probably not going to do that. So basically, you're just going to get either 720p or uh, Full HD at 1080p. Uh, so we have some video quality options as well. So there's super fine, fine, and normal. Everything that you'll see at the end of the video that I shot with this camera was done at super fine. So the absolute best this thing has to offer. Uh, so I'm not exactly sure what the seamless is. We can change the white balance, the metering, and uh, some different effects. So that's just going to give you some brown tones, some black and white tones, things like that. Um, so let's jump over here and go back into the uh, settings and so then you can see we got some sounds so that's going to turn the sounds off so it actually beeps every time you move which is super annoying um, and then there's also a shutter sound you can turn that off and on um, but basically that's what we have to offer here um, other things you can see here, obviously there's a power button here. Uh, we can turn the display on or off, and then uh, that's how we turn on our Wi-Fi as well. And then this is just for going back and looking at your previous stuff. So let's hit that. Um, so this is, if we hit the display, we can see it turn the Wi-Fi on and off there. So all we're doing is we're changing what's on the display, and then we can turn the Wi-Fi on and off there as well. And then if we hit this play button, we're just going to go back and we could see what our previous uh, photos were. But I actually took the micro SD card out of there so that I could um, show you some of that footage. So with that being said, I will also mention here that if you are somebody who's maybe a YouTuber and you want to connect it right here so we can go ahead and see what you're looking at, you can actually watch yourself in the video. That's a nice option uh, if you're doing any of the vlogs or anything like that. So we do have some microphones as well. Um, and a speaker. That is our power button, also our start and stop button. 
That is for our digital zoom here. And then right up here, see if we can get those into focus. We also have photo. So that's how you're gonna switch it over to photo and then a mode button as well. So those are the features that this thing has to offer. There is also, I uh, should mention here, the tripod stand, uh, the quarter inch uh, standard there. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the video that was shot with this. Now, I apologize, everything I did was in daylight, um, not in the best of daylight. It was a super cloudy day, um, but it was there nonetheless. And so let's go ahead and check out some of that footage so you can kind of determine whether you think this might be for you or not. Oh, that. Swing it harder, dude! You oh, may not see that flower. 